In this video, I'll be showing how to create stack bar chart with some additional information using a data set. So data set that we'll be using is the Western Australian crime statistics. This was used in video number one, which is also on the YouTube. It's the same data set with one difference. There was a, in the previous video, there was a, a category called total. Um, total offense against person, total offense against property, miscellaneous offenses and detected offenses. That total and it was quite big and it made it difficult to visualize when we create visualizations. So this particular category has been, or this particular column has been relabeled as the parent category. Now we have totals against person and uh, if we go down, we'll see that we also have total against property and then detected offenses and miscellaneous offenses. So essentially we have an overall category. Under parent category, we have the offense category, like homicide and other offenses. And then under the offense categories, we have the offense subcategories. So we have a situation where when we go from right to left, we are just going um, a bit granular. That is, we are looking at the overall category and then we're looking at the offense category and then we're looking at the offense subcategory. So now we're gonna create the stack um, bar charts. Now, one thing to note about the stack bar chart is that if there are too many categories, ideally, if there are more than five or six categories, then the stack bar chart can be really, really messy. So the idea is to use stack bar chart when there are few categories, maybe five or six at maximum, not more, if not more than that. Just to show you what I mean by that, I can take the offense category here and I can do number of incidents, bring it here and I can do the month and uh, convert the month into this. And then we can have a look at the stack bar chart. So this is a stack bar chart. And you can see that because of the number of categories, the stack bar chart, Tableau has done the stack bar chart, but it's really, really messy. Too many colors going and it just looks kind of ugly. So the idea is that it makes sense when we have a few categories. So if you look at the parent category, for example, it only has four categories. And therefore, when we create a stack bar chart, it will look a bit nicer, a bit cleaner. Uh, so just have a look at that. So we put the month there and we do the same thing we did before. And we select the stack bar chart. You can see that it looks better than the last time we saw the stack bar chart. We can make it entire view. So we can actually hover over these different colors and actually can see um, various parent categories like property in November 2018 it was 13,306. Okay, so the next thing we're going to try and do in this um, case is to create a line that will touch the totals of these stack bar charts. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to create another stack bar chart. And the way we do that is we select the number of incidents and just place it in the row. And what happens is that Tableau creates two stack bar charts. And as you can see, there are two, and now three sub menus under the marks. Um, card. So we have the sum. First of all, we have the all and that basically controls all of these. Then we have the uh, sum and this particular section controls this upper stack bar chart. And then we again have sum. This one controls the bottom stack bar chart. Now, if our objective is to create a line that will touch these uh, these bars basically at the top. So what we do is we select the second uh, 
bar chart, the control for that. And then we create a line. Now, because we have got the parent category there, it creates several lines. So we just take it out by clicking the left mouse button and dragging it away. And now we have this line. Let's make it a bit thicker. So we can go to the size, make it a bit thicker. We can also change the color, maybe make it uh, black, one option. Now what we want to do, as I said, we want to bring this line on top of this. And the way we do that, there are a couple of ways of doing it. One is going to the uh, rows column and then selecting this second sum of incidents because that's the second line. And if we click the downward arrow, we have an option called uh, dual axis. That's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is, um, in fact, we probably do that uh, dual axis one um, here. And as you can see, we have um, the option being shown here. Um, so if we go here, we can actually see that uh, we can synchronize the axis. That's the second thing we do, synchronize the axis so that both the both these lines and the stack bar chart are actually having the same axis here. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to um, put the totals at the top or somewhere near these lines where it's touching. Now the way to do that is to do it through um, this method. We can go to the analytics, which is on the top. We can select the reference line and then to and drop it, basically select the reference line with our left mouse button. Once we do that, this option comes up automatically and we just drop it on the cell. When we drop it on the cell, we get this particular dialog box. It tells us, okay, what value do we do you want to show? We want to show the sum of number of incidents and we change it to sum and we want it wanted to show it. So we say label will show the values. You can also easily see that the values are being shown here. We, it shows duplicates of the value, but we will actually adjust that in a moment. There is a line there. So we might not be interested in a line. So we just said none. And um, we say, we deselect this one, show recalculated line for highlighted. And we say, okay. So we've got these values here. To adjust these values so that we have only one value being shown here, we click on this uh, number, or actually we can click on any of these numbers, it doesn't matter. We click on this one with our left mouse button. It will give us an option called format and we click that. Now, when it says format, we can go and uh, first of all, increase the font size to 11 make it bold, probably make it, um, we can't make it black because we have put the line as black. So maybe we can make it uh, orange, I guess, one option and um, go out and then we can say that, okay, you gotta align it and we can say that it should be aligned at the center. And you can see that the lines have been uh, adjusted here. Um, and so it tells us the total for these stack bars. So if you add up 12 plus three plus 3,190 and 3,280, you'll get the total. Now, one last thing I'm gonna show you, and this is kind of like an interesting thing because if I select this particular section of the stack bar chart, it will only show me for this particular stack bar chart. What if I want to just see uh, detected offenses, for example, for all the months for that financial year. So in other words, uh, I don't want to see only one for one month. I want to see it for all the months in that financial year. So the way to do that is we'll go back to the data section and we will select the parent category and put it under the filter 
or filters section or card in this case. Now it'll tell us, okay, these are the categories under the filter. We'll say, okay, apply and okay. And then we have to show the filter on this side so we can use it. So we go and click on the downward arrow and we say show filter and filter is shown. So what's the advantage of doing that? Let's actually remove all of it. We don't, we are not seeing anything. Now someone might say, okay, I just want to see the statistics related to property only. So we can just select property and it'll tell us only for property for all the months in that financial year. So we can see property uh, for all the months. Someone might say, I want to see property and person. So we can select the person and then it can tell us the total. So this total obviously are varying because we only have two categories being shown here. Okay, so someone might say, I just want to see the detected offenses. So we can just click on the detected offenses and we can see it for all the months in that financial year with their total and also some of, uh, also the trend line you might say, whether it's going up or down. And if you want to see all of them, we can just say all. So this is an advantage of using filters. So in the video here, 